What is good y'all? It's your boy Ace here and welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you guys, but even more glad to be leading 3-1 in this series against the Rockets. Now, how do I feel about leading 3-1 in a series? Well, I'm pretty traumatized. If you ask me about 3-1 leads before 2016, it'd be all right. But ever since 2016, I've I've seen some things. And we'll get into that right after the intro, but while you're here, leave a like, comment down below any suggestions, and obviously subscribe. So let's get right into it. All right, so the coveted 3-1 lead. Well, you know, before 2016, I didn't really care about that too much. When I saw a team leading 3-1, I was like, that's a dub. But now when I see a team leading 3-1, I'm like, please get the dub. Because ever since then, let's talk about it. In 2016, for example, the Western Conference Finals with the OKC Thunder leading against the Warriors, I actually bet that they were gonna win. It was an easy bet, obviously, at the time, but then the Warriors come back against them, and my mind was blown. And obviously, I'm not alone with this, because in that same playoff season, the Cavs came back 3-1 against the Warriors. And an embarrassing fun fact about TLG is the first video on this channel, I actually mentioned that there was no way that the Cavs were going to be able to win that series anymore, but... um. Clearly I was wrong. <laughs> but regardless, we're up 3-1 on the Rockets right now and it feels great. Game four was actually pretty interesting to watch. Um, it was a blowout mostly. I know the score was 110 to 100, but if you watch the game, the Lakers were just dominating this thing from start to finish. Most specifically the second quarter and I'll get into how and why right now. So the Lakers won tonight with the score being 110 to 100. Now on face value, winning by 10 points doesn't look like much of a blowout. However, if you watch the game, you could clearly tell that the Lakers were the more dominant team. And that's all bias aside. Like I get where the Laker guys, but I'll keep it 100 with you guys whenever I have to. And tonight the Lakers really dominated. They did a great job. And mostly it's because we matched the Rockets pace, but we even did better at their game. We shot better from the three point line. We were much better at getting rebounds. Like for example, we had 12 offensive rebounds tonight to their one offensive rebound. And on top of that, our three point percentage was much better. We were able to get open looks. And we also had THT show up today. Sounds a lot like TLG, but THT, if you guys don't know, is Taylor Horton Tucker. He's a rookie that we drafted this year. He stands at six foot four with a seven foot one wingspan. The dude's a beast at the defensive end, potentially. But tonight he really showed that. He came out, he played about seven minutes. He had a plus nine differential on the court. I don't care much about plus and minuses, guys, but to be honest with you, it really showed. Like when he got on the court, first and foremost, he was great on the defensive end, which then translated to steals, which then translated to fast breaks, and which then translated to him actually making proper plays. He wasn't chucking up bad shots. I think there was one shot he took that was rushed. But other than that, he made the right plays. He would take open shots and he passed it to the teammates whenever he needed to. So as a Laker fan, obviously, I'm really happy that we got THT on our team. He's killing it. And I'm really excited to see how this plays out for the rest of the series. Because obviously, if we're not going to be playing JaVale McGee or Dwight Howard, we're going to need to extend those minutes to another player. And considering that Horton Tucker played a great game tonight, I could predict that he's going to play in the next game as well. And hopefully, we'll see a better upward trend for him. Another interesting fact I'd like to mention is that Anthony Davis really is a huge difference maker for this team's success right now. The Rockets really don't have a big man. Me and 3Z have been talking about that. Their biggest man that gets significant minutes is actually PJ Tucker, who stands at six foot eight. And the ironic thing about that is Anthony Davis, listed as 6'11", is just an athletic monster. He's a freak, we know that, he's AD. And watching the game today really made me grateful that we do have him, that we do have this superstar that's able to be a big, but can literally stretch the floor and be so quick on transitioning up and down the court. It's just a blessing and obviously to be paired with LeBron James, man, it's great. And I think that if you're a Laker fan, please try to tune into these games, regardless of if we're winning by a lot or if we're losing, you guys don't wanna miss history. It's a great season. I love the team that we have right now. The squad is clean and Danny Green hitting those threes. There's nothing more satisfying than that. So I, honestly, it was just a great game. It was really fun for a Laker fan. Now, if you're a Rockets fan, this game was just not your uh, not your vibe. Let's just put it that way. The Rockets really just weren't themselves tonight. And that's primarily because of the adjustments that we made to counteract their style of game. Their style of game is really quick and they like to play fast paced. 
and they usually do make their shots but tonight their leading scorer James Harden was 2 of 11 from the field and I couldn't be happier to watch that happen because to be honest with you when James Harden's hot he gets really hot but tonight he just wasn't. Russell Westbrook had a great game, but it just wasn't good enough. And obviously we came out with the dub. For the Rockets, I honestly think it's their lack of size and their lack of versatility. This team basically relies upon open three-point shooters and James Harden and a little bit of Westbrook. And that's just not a winning formula, mainly because that's too offensively minded. There's not much defense going on. And on top of that, it's just inconsistent. You have to have some sort of style of play that you can depend on other than just shooting threes and I think tonight that really was their biggest weakness but yeah it's a quick video today but honestly when the Lakers are up 3-1 in the playoffs after so long that warrants a video and on top of that Horton Tucker came out tonight and he played a really good game and I think he deserves a shout out so shout out THT sounds a lot like TLG and yeah I guess that's about it guys leave a like comment any suggestions you have down below because 3Z and I literally are like vultures reading through these things and we love hearing your feedback and obviously subscribe and yeah I hope you guys have a great weekend it's your boy Ace signing out peace